Okay. All right. Let's see where we at. Okay, I'd like to welcome everybody to GOATS International Sports Showdown 2024, hosted by my ho hosted by ho hosted by myself, Devin Smith. And uh we're gonna do a matchup today. Uh the first matchup is gonna be Upper Derby at Central Bucks West. And we're doing my first season edition ever of the PIAA District One football season. One 2024. I've never done a football version. I've done a baseball version on my channel, and I've done high school basketball. Uh, and PIAA stands for Pennsylvania High School Sports. For those who may know, uh, those who are in Pennsylvania and those who are outside of Pennsylvania, we got some great uh, matchups of Week One uh, PIAA District One football. Uh, we're gonna have Phoenixville Phantoms at Downingtown West. We're gonna have Spring Forward. A Spring Forward Rams taking on Coastville Red Raiders. We're going to have, uh, of course, today, Upper Derby taking on uh, Central Bucks West. We got Kenneth Blue Demons taking on uh, Redding Knights. That should be some good uh, high school football action coming up. Um, we're also going to have Bristol Warriors taking on North Penn High School Knights. Uh, Downingtown East Cougars will be taking on Westchester East uh, High School Vikings. Central Bucks South Titans will be taking on Pottstown High Trojans. All right, and that's just a little update of games to come. These are all the games here of the PIAA District 1 football season 1 2024 matchups of week one. Phoenixville, West. Central Bucks South, Pottstown. All right, we had a game right here, too. This is Boylestown, Norristown. Boylestown got to win 23-6 to six over Norristown. And we had a couple great other games that uh, also took place that were pretty good. And um, I think we also had Chester winning real big, 42-7 to seven over Neshamity. And that was another big matchup we had uh, as well. Uh, we have the standings. Of course, you can see the standings. Uh, Central Bucks East, Patriots, Westchester, Henderson, Warriors, uh, Downingtown East Cougars, Westchester East High School Vikings. So we got two Westchesters. We got one that's Henderson High Warriors. In Westchester, PA, Philadelphia. And then we have another one, which is Westchester East High School. Of course, you see in the standings, uh, Downingtown West. And then, of course, you got the other school football uh, team, Downingtown East. Got the Whippets going Downingtown West. And Downingtown East is the Cougars. Then you got Coastville, uh, Pennsylvania. Red Raiders, which is right up the way from Downingtown when you pass Downingtown. You're going to Coastville. We got Phoenixville, PA. Their school, Phoenixville High Phantoms. You can see them in the lineup standings. Okay, so these are your standings for Week One to show you where all the teams stand. Um, Norristown took a loss too as well uh, in Week One. Um, let me check out the other standings. Okay, Chester looked really good. They got a got a victory in Week One. Quakertown High School took a loss in week one. Um, Neshamity, which is also in PA. Then we had Shelton Ham High got a great victory uh, in week one. And then we had uh, Ben Salem uh, had a bad loss, too, in week one. Boyertown High had a win as well. So we're going to get on down to today's matchup.
All right. We got the matchup. Upper Derby Royals taking on Central Bucks West. High School Bucks. That matchup is coming up next. And I'd like to thank all my old subscribers and new subscribers, of course, for checking out my channel of uh, Devin Smith. International Sports Showdown. Let's see where we at. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, today it should be a, a pretty windy day in Philly. We just came through a snowstorm. Uh, I think the temperature should be pretty good, though. The temperature should be very cold, but there probably won't be much snow like we had in the uh, previous weeks. But we might still be having snowstorms coming up. PA. All right, we got on 10 minutes. Hall of Fame. It's going to be done in Philadelphia, of course. Snowy day. We don't need that overcast. We're going to have heavy winds, though, and we'll just have overcast. Okay. All right, Upper Derby Royals taking on Central Bucks West High School Bucks. High School Football Action, the PIAA District 1, Season 1, 2024, Week 1 matchup will be underway. We've also had the other games as well that I just mentioned, uh, and you can see them in the standings. Welcome, football fans, to this matchup in the Axis Football. I'm Dave Stevens, here with my partner in crime, Mike Steele. Dave, as we both walked up to the booth, it's palatable in the air. Not just the players and the coaches, but also the fans, the trainers. Heck, the concessions guy gave me extra nachos. Everyone's amped for this game. Oh, you hit the nail on the head with that, Mike. Let's go ahead and get down to the action. Number five sends it off. Field it at the 10. And he's brought down after a return of 15. Let's check in with our sideline correspondent, Emma Adams. Emma, what do you have for us? Guys, I'm not sure how we're playing football today. These wins are brutal, and I expect to see a large dose of running for the remainder of the game. I also wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot more fourth down attempts given the uncertainty in the kicking game. Thanks, Emma. A penalty. Touchdown! Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team will accept the penalty. The linemen have their jerseys extremely tight to prevent that pulling. You know it's significant holding when the jersey is affected. Sparks drops back, throws a pass. He can't bring it in. Three receivers for the home team. Sparks steps back into the pocket. Penalty marker on the field. Incomplete. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The home team takes the penalty. Defensive holding is like pass interference, but it occurs before the ball is thrown. He sets up and throws out past the first down marker. Second down. He makes the handoff. Good enough for a first down. When you can pick up the first by running, it really opens up your playbook for the next set of downs. Tonight. Jets once he hit the secondary. The rest is history.
Tonight. There's the kick. It's good. The home team striking first. Seven, nothing. The first touchdown of the day creates huge momentum. It makes the other team feel like they're working uphill. Campbell sends it off. Number 17 takes the kick. Tackled after a return of 20. The away team has to feel good about where they are. They're down by a single score and are in control of what happens next. Makes the toss to number 48. There's a penalty marker on the field. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team takes the penalty. Traditional wisdom puts the blame for penalties on the coaches. Second play of the drive. There's a penalty marker on the field. He can't make the catch. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team will accept the penalty. Oh, looks like the early bird doesn't always get the worm. That'll cost them five yards. Go. Drops back into the pocket. Incomplete pass. Lining up on second down. Tonight. He makes the handoff. Missed tackle on the defense. Third down and short. The running back takes the carry. Fourth down. A conservative run call on third and long. You don't want to unnecessarily take any risks there and end up in a situation that's difficult to recover from. The punt's away. And the punt sails out of bounds around the six. The home team comes into this drive with a one possession lead. I'm looking for them to try and take a chunk of time off the clock and grab another score. Go! And he's tackled. Second down. He sets up and throws off to the sideline. There's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team takes the penalty. If the coach hasn't created a culture where penalties are not acceptable, then players won't take that extra effort to avoid making them. Sparks with the taunt. Tight end right for the home team. Tonight. Makes the handoff to number 45. Huh. He drops back. Grabbed out of the air by number 84. And that's enough for a first down. A fresh set of downs for the offense.
The Sparks steps back into the pocket. He hurls one deep downfield. And it's off. Seven, play of the drive for the offense. Said hike. And he will be sacked in the backfield for a loss of 11. That gets us to third down. The away team comes out with five DBs. Hike. He drops back to pass. Makes the throw deep left. Tackled. That'll be enough for the first down. Receiver gets up with the big first down motion. Pretty sure the defense have seen enough of that already. Hike. The runner shakes off the tackle. That gets us to second down. Second down and long. The Sparks drops back. Throws to the left side of the field. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Eleven. Play of the drive. He drops back. The ball falls to the ground, incomplete. That'll do it for the first quarter. The home team with the edge so far, 7-0. Out comes the punt team. Summer on the punt. The punt will sail out of bounds. The away team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Pitching it out. Stop back at the five. A flag on the play. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The away team will accept the penalty. Penalties can be real drive killers or savers. There is a flag on the play. The home team takes the penalty. Mental errors are a huge part of the game. This one just creeps up pre-play for us all to see. Pitches the ball out to the runner. That brings up second down. There is a flag on the play. The away team will accept the penalty. Traditional wisdom puts the blame for penalties on the coaches. Hike. Steps into the pocket. And he misses his mark. The away team with a single back in the backfield. Steps into the pocket, takes the handoff, and looks to pass. That'll bring up fourth down. The away team comes out in punt formation. The punt's away. Gibb takes the kick. Tackled after a return of one. This drive coming up is a good chance for the offense to give themselves a bit of breathing room. First down. Drops back into the pocket. He throws the screen to the sideline.
Sparks makes the handoff. That will bring up third down. Sparks steps back into the pocket, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 11-yard line. Fourth down. Everyone was covered up by the first down line. The only option they had was to check down for a shorter completion and hope the receiver could make a few people miss. Summer punts it away. Taken at the 44. Makes the return up to the 45-yard line. It's a one-score game, Dave. You have to feel good about your chances here if you're the offense. Let's see how they execute. Steven dropping back. Play action fake. There's a flag on the field. He can't bring it in. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The away team accepts the penalty. You can bump the receiver for five yards, but the defender has got to let them go after that. Go! Number 48 on the count. That gets us to second down. Steven with the handoff. When you can pick up the first by running, it really opens up your playbook for the next set of downs. First down. Hike. Steven hands it off. Lining up on second down. There's a penalty marker on the field. Finds a target to the right side of the end zone. And he misses his mark. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team accepts the penalty. So many penalties are just mental mistakes. The offense will operate from the gun. Number 48 on the run. A crucial third down for the offense. From under center. Tosses the ball. The receiver can't bring it in. Out comes the field goal unit. It's up. And he's good from 45 yards out. The away team eats away at the lead a bit. Seven, three. The away team pulls it to a one possession game with that score. The kick's away. Gibb takes the kick, eluding defenders. And he's brought down after a return of 18. If the offense can get another score in this drive here, it will really put the pressure on. The home team starts the drive from the 34. Launches a pass. He can't bring it in. Coming out in the gun. Sparks looking to pass. And he misses his mark. Third down. Go! 
go! Sparks gives it away. The away team will use one of their timeouts here. That's a safe play on third down. When you've got a long way to go, sometimes you're better off just picking up a few yards and kicking it. <laughs> Summer on the punt. Number 17 takes the kick. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. First down. <laughs> Steven looking to pass. Touchdown! Unbelievable! That's the kind of play I'd expect to see only in a video game. The away team lines up for the PAT. Go! Number five makes the kick. It's good! The away team will pull ahead with the score 10 7. Elite teams don't give up leads, Dave. If the defense wants to establish itself as a contender in the Axis League, then they need to get it together. Number five kicks it off. Gibb takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 26-yard line. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. This drive will begin from the 27-yard line. A penalty marker on the play. The away team takes the penalty. False starts are one of those mental mistakes that really makes getting the first down a lot harder. <laughs> Sparks looking to pass. Incomplete pass. Three receivers for the home team. Tonight. Sparks looking to pass. Number 87 makes the catch. That'll be enough for the first down. The home team comes out in a three receiver set. Go. Sparks dropping back. Incomplete. Sparks steps back into the pocket. Connects with number 87. The home team takes a timeout here. That will bring up first down. He makes the throw. The runner steps out of bounds up at the 34. That will bring up second down. The home team lines up with two backs in the backfield. He steps back to pass. Incomplete. There is a flag on the play. Number 48 on the reception. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team chooses to decline the penalty. When you can complete those types of throws for first downs, it forces the defense to move men out of the box, which opens up the run game. He steps back to pass, throws a pass to the right side of the field. The home team uses their second timeout. Three receivers for the home team. Another back to pass. And it's off. Put. 
Drops back into the pocket. He tosses one out into the end zone. And they can't connect. Incomplete. The offense lining up with three receivers. The Sparks dropping back. He snags it out of the air for the touchdown. That's a great example of a player just stepping up and making a play to get a touchdown. They're getting set for the point after. The kick is up. It's good. The home team pulls ahead. 14, 10. That was a big possession for the offense for them to be able to take the lead like that. The kick's away. Number 17 catches the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 17. This is a good position for offense to be in. It's a one-score game, and they've got a good opportunity to go down the field and get some points. Go. Drops back into the pocket. He can't make the catch. I'm watching the wideout come back and motion that it wasn't on target. You can't always blame the QB, son. From under center. <laughs> Airs one out. Makes the catch. First down. Tosses the ball. The pass is caught by number 83. And that brings us to the end of the second quarter. The home team leading 14-10. The kick's away. Number 17 takes the kick, makes the return up to the 25. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Emma Adams. Emma, what can you tell us? Thanks, Dave. I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. He said he's happy with the way his team is working out there. He mentioned that if the first half was any indication of how the second half will play out, we may end up with a kicker as the MVP. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Emma. The tight end lines up on the right side. Steven, back to pass. Penalty marker on the field. The ball is knocked loose. He's stopped at the 22-yard line. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team accepts the penalty. You hope, as a defender, this isn't a trend. Technique means a lot, but you really won't even be taught to hold that way. Drops back into the pocket. That makes the sack. The offense will lose about nine. That gets us to second down. Second down and long. The handoff is taken by number 48, third down. Third and long. Go. Steven drops back, a penalty marker on the play. Taken down by Marshall. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The away team will decline the penalty. 
A fresh set of downs for the offense. That will bring up second down. Second down and short. Dropping back. He hurls one. He makes the catch in the end zone for a touchdown. Dave, that's what it's all about. Sure, it goes down as a TD for the QB, but the WR did a lot of work on it too. It's up. And it's good. The away team pulls ahead. 17, 14. Elite teams don't give up leads, Dave. If the defense wants to establish itself as a contender in the Axis League, then they need to get it together. Number five kicks this one away. Gibb catches the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 29-yard line. Let's see what the offense can do with this drive. I'm sure they'd love to go down and put an end to this lead they're facing. Hike! Sparks makes the pitch. Stop back near the 28-yard line. Second down. He steps back to pass. Throws the ball past the first down marker. Tackled. Third down. Go! Give on the run. Finally brought down up at the 46. That will move the chains after a run like that, it's so tempting to just keep feeding him the ball until the defense finds a way to stop it. <laughs> Penalty mark. The ball is not loose. And he scores. Let's see how the penalty affects him. The away team will turn down the penalty. Watching on TV, it looks easy to pick up the ball when it's on the ground. But trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. Great job picking it up and running in for the score. And the kick will fall short. No good. The away team widens the gap a bit with that score. 23-14. The away team is really moving out in front of this matchup. The kicker kicks it away. Gibb takes the kick. Tackled after a return of 17. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. He steps into the pocket. There's a flag on the field. Grabbed out of the air. Let's see what the call on the field is. The home team is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. Second down. Go! The runner breaks free. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown! It's funny, we've seen this guy get gassed before, but with pay dirt in front of him, he didn't have any issues here. Hike. There's the kick. It's good. The home team bridges the gap a bit. 23-21. These guys play with a chip on their shoulder, and they also keep chipping away at this lead. Campbell 
boots it. Number 17 takes the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 26. If the offense can get another score in this drive here, it will really put the pressure on. A fresh set of downs for the offense. Penalty marker on the field. The home team takes the penalty. The QB is having a little chat with his lineman after that. Quarterback to pass. He tosses the screen to the left side of the field. There is a flag on the play. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown. We'll see if the penalty affects the outcome. The home team will accept the penalty. That was a clear hold. Good call by the officials. Go! Steven makes the handoff. And he's tackled up near the line. Back near the 8-yard line. That will bring up second down. Coming out in the gun. Uh, Steven drops back. He's hit hard and he'll be sacked down at the nothing yard line. Third down. Hey. He drops back to pass. A penalty flag on the field, dodging the defender. And he steps in for six. Touchdown. Let's see what the call on the field is. The away team will turn down the penalty. Unbelievable. That's the kind of play I'd expect to see only in a video game. There's the kick. It's good. The away team extends their lead 30-21. The home team would do well to really focus here. They need to execute a quick drive and score to get back into this game. Number five kicks this one away. Gibb takes the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 16. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready to drive the ball down the field. The Sparks drops back. Grabbed out of the air by number 45. That gets us to second down. That's pure focus out of the receiver there. He knows the defense is bearing down, but kept his eyes on the ball and protected it after the catch, too. Tonight. Sparks back to pass. Snagged out of the air. He drops back to pass. He throws one. Second down. The third quarter comes to an end. The away team with the edge so far. 30-21. Sparks pitching it out. He scores! 
the line just got low in the blocks and maybe make a case for holding, but the refs don't see it. All we see is six points on the board. There's a penalty marker on the field. The away team accepts the penalty. Sometimes the offense gets a little wrapped up with the man in front of them and they lose focus. Campbell on the kick. It's good. The home team recovered some ground with that score. 30-28. At this point, Dave, it's up to the offense to regain control of this game by chewing the clock or scoring points. The kick's away. Fielded at the 10-yard line. And he's brought down after a return of 23. The away team has the chance to make this a two-score game with this possession. The away team will start from the 33-yard line. Go! Steven looking to pass. He flings a pass. That gets us to second down. Frequently, those passes can get tipped at the line. I think the linebacker is asking those guys up front to get a hand up once in a while. And he drops back, makes the throw up beyond the first down, and it's off. Third down and short. Go! The pass is caught by number 43. First down. Steven from the gun. A penalty marker on the play. The home team accepts the penalty. Discipline goes a long way when it comes to avoiding costly penalties. Let's see what they do on first down. Sit up. Brought down almost immediately. That gets us to second down. We've got an injured player down on the field. Steven steps back into the pocket, takes the handoff, and looks to pass. The pass falls harmlessly to the ground. A five defensive back set for the home team. Drops back into the pocket. Number 85 catches it. Fourth down. The punt team makes its way up to the line. Hike. Fowler punts it away. This is a good position for offense to be in. It's a one-score game, and they've got a good opportunity to go down the field and get some points. Throws up beyond the first down. And he's tackled up near the 15. A penalty flag on the field. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team takes the penalty. If the coach hasn't created a culture where penalties are not acceptable, then players won't take that extra effort to avoid making them. Second down.
The home team comes the out with a single back. Football season one two zero two four week one matchup is now. Give takes the handoff. Showdown two zero two four. That gets us to third down. Go. Makes the throw over the middle. He can't bring it in. Third and longs are one of the hardest down and distances to convert. The defense did a great job holding them up there. The punt team makes its way up to the line. Tonight. He punts it away. Number 17 takes the punt. Touchdown! What a big, big special teams play. I can't wait to watch that again because I didn't think he was going to break free at first. Week one upper Darby Royal Central Bucks West. Here's the kick. Just a bit outside. The away team adds another score. 36 28. We aren't seeing perfect drives here, Dave, but again, we see points on the board. The kicker boots it. Gibb catches the kickoff. Makes the return up to the 28. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. The home team will start from the 29-yard line. Fakes the handoff. He makes the throw yeah, to the right one side. All season one, two, zero, two, four, week one matchups will be tackled by Ireland. That will bring up down first two, down. Zero, two, well, that's one way not to worry about converting on third down. Just get it done on the first down. <laughs> Sparks looking to pass. The home team will fake the handoff and look to pass. The home team with a single back in the backfield. Sparks back to pass. Finds a target past the first down marker. Breaking free. And he safely steps out up near the seven, and that's enough for a first down. First down and goal. the blocking up front. I credit them for that touchdown. The home team lines up to go for two. Hike! He'll cross the goal line to convert the two-point try. I don't care who's on the defense. You execute blocking assignments like that and the runner's going to find Pater every time. The kick's away. Number 17 takes the kickoff. Tackled after a return of 21. There looks to be an injury down on the field. The away team starts the drive from the 29. He hands it off. Second play of the drive. Uh, Steven back to pass. Hurls a pass. Number 17 makes a nice catch. The home team calls the first timeout. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. First down. Tonight. The QB hands it off. 
Brought down almost immediately. Up at the 22, the home team will call their second time out here. That gets us to second down. Steven handing it off. The home team takes their last time out. That will bring up third down. Third down and short. Steven makes the handoff. The coach showed some wisdom and football knowledge on that call. Take what the defense gives you and live to fight another day. Go! Here's the kick. And he split the uprights for three points. That's good from 33 yards out. The away team will take the lead with that score. 39-36. The offense came up big there. Now they've got to hold out on defense to secure the win. Give takes the kick. Tackled after a return of 15. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. A fresh set of downs for the offense. Go. Dropping back. The defensive end, cutting through blockers, the sack. That will be a loss of five. The home team comes out with a single back. Steps into the pocket. There's a flag on the field. Makes the reception. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team accepts the penalty. That contact was clearly after the five yards, which is why the flag was thrown. Two wide receivers for the home team. Hey. He drops back to pass. A flag on the play. Give with the catch. He's stopped. Well, we'll see if that holds up after the penalty. The home team is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. That will bring up first down. Sparks steps back into the pocket. Number 89 catches it. Second down. The home team will operate from the gun. Hey. Sparks dropping back, tosses a pass up beyond the first down, and he can't reel it in. A crucial third down for the offense. A penalty flag on the field. The tackle is made by number 22. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team will decline the penalty. First down. So steps into the pocket. It's off. Hike. And they can't connect incomplete. Three wide receivers for the home team. Sparks steps back into the pocket. Snagged out of the air by number 45. He's taken down by Ireland. The away team calls timeout. That'll be enough for the first down.
Gets it. Drops back into the pocket. Pass complete to number 84. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. The offense is giving the chain gain a workout down there. They were barely set before needing to move. Drops back into the pocket. It's caught for the score! Dave, not a lot of room for error here, but the wideout and QB got on the same page. Now, they share the stats page under touchdown. The kick is up. It's good. The home team pulls ahead. 43-39. The home team has the lead now, but there's still enough time for another drive down the field. Campbell kicks it off. The kick is caught at the eight. Tackled after a return of 15. The away team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. This drive will begin from the 25-yard line. Hut, hut. Incomplete. Lining up on second down. Hut. Drops back into the pocket. Grabbed out of the air. The away team takes their third time out, and that's enough for a first down. The away team will operate from the gun. <laughs> Throws it deep down the field. The away team will take their third and final time out here. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. been staring down that receiver all day and the secondary is just keying on it he wanted a big play but he gave one up instead the defense has a chance to come up big if they can force a punt after that turnover it'll give the entire team a boost of confidence he steps in for six the blocking on that touchdown run was phenomenal they hit their assignments right out of the gate and spring the runner for a long touchdown. The kick is up. It's good. The home team widens the gap a bit with that score. 50-39. The away team would do well to really focus here. They need to execute a quick drive and score to get back into this game. The kick is off. The return man takes the kick. Makes the return up to the 27. Overall today, they've been outperformed on offense. It's time for them to buckle down and get things moving if they want any chance of turning things around. Well, it looks like we've got an injured player on Go. the field. He flings a pass to the middle, deep downfield. And that's enough for a first down. Mike, you know what time it is. We're all anxious to hear who you've got as the stun of the game. Who is it? This is a no-brainer for me. I'm going with Gibbs for the home team. Fantastic execution on the day. 